What do you do if your dog or puppy is choking on something? In this video, we're going to tell you all about it. All right, first off, what could your dog or puppy be choking on? They could be choking on their kibble, a treat you gave them, whether it's raw food or dry food. They could also choke on small toys and things they're not even supposed to have in their mouth. How do you know if your dog or puppy is choking? Well, it's going to be very apparent. You're not going to hear much because there's not a lot of airway or, or things moving uh, past their vocal cords. So you're going to see them, however, looks like they're choking. Their tongue could be turning blue or purple. They're going to have a very much a noticeable sign of distress. And you can also see them start to throw up. They might even throw up. And even after they throw up, they're still not breathing and they could pass out on you. So what do you do to help? Well, if you can, come around the back of them and get into that Heimlich maneuver and get your fist up under their, but below their ribs, above their stomach, right here in the solar plex area, and give some upward thrusts in that direction that could help get the object out of their mouth. Very likely, however, if they're really, really choking, they can end up passing out and end up in this position. That's fine. Let's keep working. You're going to put them on their side. You're going to go ahead and open their mouth and you're going to pull the tongue out. By pulling the tongue out, there's a chance that the item can come along with the tongue and it could be stuck right there and you might be able to see it. It might fall out or you're going to have to reach in there with your finger, preferably your pinky, and go as deep as you can. Get behind the object and do what we call a finger sweep and sweep the object or objects out of the way. Once you think you've cleared the airway, you want to see if they're breathing on their own. If they're not breathing on their own, you're going to want to go ahead and start with what we call rescue breaths. That's going to be closing their mouth, tucking their tongue back in, breathing rescue breaths down their nostrils, making sure that they're neck is stretched out in this fashion and you should be watching the chest to see if the chest rises not the belly but the chest it should rise and fall on its own make sure you are not blowing as hard as you can because number one that could push the item if there's still something left in there deeper but you can also blow out their lungs by blowing a lot more air than their little lungs could take so it depends on the size of the dog once you do a couple of rescue breaths, you want to continue to monitor, check on their heartbeat. If you don't have a heartbeat, now it's time to start doing CPR. Now, I know you're saying, Garrett, why are you telling all of me all of this? I would just call my vet. Well, guess what? I bet your vet is not two or three minutes away. By the time you get your phone and make that phone call and they answer, your dog's already lost a ton of oxygen. And it's, we're talking minutes here. If you load them up in the car and try to drive them to the vet, you're going to have a dead dog or puppy before you get there. Hate to be the uh, bringer of bad news, just speaking reality to you. If you are not prepared on how to deal with your dog or puppy choking in your home, you are the only one that can save your dog or puppy in that instance. Now, once you get them back in business, for sure, take them to the vet. Make sure there's still not something lodged in their throat or that got pushed down into their lungs that you might need to get out. Otherwise, you get an infection later on. But think about that, have it in the back of your mind. Have a plan. Talk and walk through it with your uh, loved ones in the household. God forbid it ever happens to your dog or puppy. We want to make sure that you are prepared to handle the situation should it arise. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.